Look, guys, take a look at this picture. Just take a really good look at these pictures. I've been saying it for a very long time, you know. I know I haven't been making the videos for a while. Uh, just been kind of just taking a break. <sighs> but clearly, you know, we are in the end days. And, you know, the enemy is continuing to get bolder and bolder and bolder by the day, by the second and by the minute. Now, I guess it's this lady, uh, Doja Cat or whatever. Uh, I guess it's this woman that just going around, you know, dressing up. And recently she just had because um, some a uh, few people, they show me different pictures, you know, her covered up in red. I'm not going to actually like have you show, it, but you can go search it up for yourself because, you know, I don't know how you know sensitive YouTube is, you know, showing that. But these was were on the reaches uh the recent pictures that I seen up on Instagram not long ago. Uh, this one guy name on Instagram named A Academics or some. I'm pretty sure you guys are probably familiar who, who he is. He posted this and. When I seen this, I'm just like, wow, like just just very just disgusting, very just evil and just so wicked. And they're boldly putting this stuff right in front of you. And they're saying, what are you going to do about it? And so we clearly seen this stuff constantly just increasing by the day, by the time, by the second, by the minute, by the hour. This go if this don't show you or just don't let you know that we're clearly in the end times, then you are under a strong delusion and you have been blinded by the God of this world. You know, we're, we're going to constantly see more things than, than just this, you know, it's going to continue to, you know, accelerate. It's going to continue to increase. And this is where you're going to have to make a decision who you truly are going to follow in this time, because deception is on a very high rise right now deception evilness and you know they you know they promote all types of wickedness all in movies and you know cartoons and stuff to you know to make a way up you know of you know uh, uh influence your kids these people are coming after your kids they're influencing them through the wicked ways by putting all this stuff in the cartoons and movies and stuff. And then, you know, a lot of parents they just take and they're just like, oh, you know, it just is what it is, you know, it's just entertainment. This is just part of her little costume and stuff. And people just be all up in the comments and just laughing and, you know, just make, you know, just thinking that this stuff is just a joke. But clearly don't see that there is a spirit. There is a there is a war in the spirit way more than in the physical. When we're seeing stuff like this, when we're seeing satan uh, sat uh, satanic things being uh, on the upfront and being promoted and sin is being promoted, this goes to show you, man. Our redemption is drawing nigh. It's it's getting very close. It's getting very close, and you're gonna have to make it up in your mind. Hey, I'm going to serve God with all my heart, my soul, and might. You got to make a choice. You know, these people have to go to a dark place to get this stuff, and then projecting it right in front of you. And they're just doing it like it ain't nothing. Because I'm telling you, the devil only got a short amount of time to work. He know his time is very short. So he has to push whatever he can push. He has to move through the media. He has to move through the, you know, the physical going through, you know, to the, the, the kids and the schools and stuff. You know, he, he, you know, getting up on ads and different things like that to project you to, to, to hypnotize you, to get you off course, to get you far away from God much as possible. And this stuff is just going to continue to increase and increase and increase. When is somebody going to actually step up and expose this stuff that's going on in the world? But a lot of people don't want to expose the kind of stuff because they don't want to be silenced. They don't want to be canceled for it. So they'll just sit there and just be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. And as you continue to be quiet, the more stuff they're going to continue to push until somebody stand up and say, hey, we are not going to tolerate this. You know, they'll, they'll, you know, these people, these celebrities and stuff, they, they go and make a mockery of Christianity, they always come against Christianity. It's something about Christianity that they just cannot stop coming after us. You know, you got all these different religions, but they'll never go after them because they know it's going to be problems. So they come after Christianity because why? Christianity has been watered down over here in America. Nothing, anything about Jesus Christ is not taken seriously over here. And so what, what then happened was people didn't water it down so much. They don't want to talk about certain things and, and deal with some of the stuff that's going on in this world because they don't want to lose the platform, the money, anything. 
And so they just completely just water down and they don't water down so much to where now these people are coming boldly like this. They, they, you know, they have all types of people mocking Christianity all the time. You know, you got LGBT uh, having like a, you know, a Jesus like upon a cross, a fake Jesus upon a cross and just making a big mockery. But that stuff is allowed on social media. But when we call stuff like this, we get canceled. It's the whole nother level of cancel culture. Like, what is so? Why are you trying to silence everybody? You know, we're supposed to live in a world with freedom of speech, but clearly, <laughs> clearly, that's being attacked on a on a whole nother level. But at the end of the day, the truth is going to come out. It's going to come out. Everything is going to continue to keep being exposed. By the time, the more we getting closer to to uh, Jesus Christ rapture and the return, you know. The more you know, stuff is going to continue to be exposed because he don't want people to be deceived. And it's getting to a point the devil know how to create things and make things look like it's of God. But it's just a wolf in sheep clothing. He's just taking a, you know, taking a little bit of the truth and wrapping up in a bunch of lies. And you're going to need a spirit of discernment on a whole nother level. On a whole nother level. I'm telling you, hear what I'm telling you. You're going to need a spirit of discernment on a whole nother level. Because this stuff can really fool you. This stuff can really trick you. Hey, you know, it's just it's just a time we live it in. It's sad. It really is. But this is what it's come with. You know, are you going to you're going to fight or are you just going to just bow down to all the stuff that these people are doing? You know, we're not we're not supposed to give up. Jesus never gave up on us, so we, we shouldn't give up on him. There's a job, there's there's a work that we have to do on this earth. You guys better wake up. That's all I can say. You guys better work. Well, I mean, not work. Better wake up because I'm telling you guys, it's going to continue to get worse. They're going to continue to project stuff and, and really put it out there right in front of your face. And, and you know, so sadly, this is why they come on board because a lot of people, they're going to accept it. A lot of people, they're not going to fight against it. A lot of people, they're just going to just get complacent and just say, hey, this is just what it is. No, we don't have to settle for this stuff. And so many people, they're settling for it. And this is the reason why it's getting worse and worse and worse, because nobody is not willing to take a stand. Because they don't want to they don't want to deal with the consequences. They don't want to deal with the cancellation. They don't want to deal with it. So they just, mm, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be quiet. Hey, you know, that's just the world we just live in. So we need to pray over this nation because it's, it's, and the God already doing stuff because I'm already hearing about all these hurricanes, all this stuff that's happening. Like literally everything is happening. Everything that's been prophesied is, is starting to happen because why God is getting tired of the evilness. It's literally like Solomon and Gomorrah out here. And, you know, it's crazy because a lot of women, you know, more likely look up to her. They look up to girls like this. People that's deep in these occults and stuff, they look up to them. But don't realize that there's a burning hellfire that's waiting on them. If they don't repent and they don't turn away. So it's something to think about, guys, and uh, continue to stay in prayer. Ask God for, for uh, wisdom and discernment in this time because you're going to need these in days. Love you guys.